Hey everyone, it's me, Libby Dior. I'm gonna tell you different ways to um, get rid of your facial hair, like cheaper ways and things like that. So let's get started. Okay, number one, this thing right here. I don't even know what's called, but shout out to this girl. I cannot remember her name. She told me about this, but I don't think she remembered the name of it either. And I damn sure don't remember the name of it either. But you can get this at Walmart for like seven or eight dollars. It's from this one company called CO, KO, whatever. And this is a trimmer, like a small trimmer, a very small trimmer. And um, what I do is I just do this or whatever, or a mustache, we'll go, <laughs> that type of thing. And um, it's just a small, small trimmer, which is kind of nice because if you have big trimmers, it can't like get like everywhere or like my unibrow right here because I don't get my eyebrows done. I purposely don't get my eyebrows done. I guess let me tell you why I don't get my purposely don't get my eyebrows done. Okay, I purposely don't get my eyebrows done because every time I see on Facebook, some chick is drawing in her eyebrows. And I'm just like, I'm so grateful to God that I have eyebrows. So, so for me, I purposely don't get them done because I want my eyebrows to last for a very long time. And they're actually pretty thick and very dark. I don't shade them in. I don't wax them. I don't thread them. I don't do anything. These are my eyebrows. And I appreciate them because I can never imagine myself waking up every single damn day having to draw on my eyebrows to look like I have eyebrows. So that's why I don't get them done. But um, so yeah, so like if you want to get all artsy and stuff, you get in the middle right here. Or like if you have really crazy eyebrows, you might want to go like this, you know, like kind of like shake them a little bit. Or like if you grow a whole bunch under here, you can shake them. And then they have a little smaller part right here. That smaller part right here and so if you really really want to get all fancy you can kind of go like this to them and just kind of like really really shape them i don't do that <laughs> if you're fancy and artsy you can do that but i'm not i don't do that also it comes with a little cap or whatever so it kind of looks like a pen and i do carry this around in my purse because sometimes i forget to do my face and i'm just like damn thank god i got this this only requires like one or two AAA batteries that does not come with the thing. And um, I do like it. So shout out. I'm going to find out your name. I'm going to put it right down here because I think this is what you were talking about. And I finally found it. So shout out to you. Thank you. And I don't know how I found this. I was like looking around. I say looking around Walmart. But and then I found it. So yeah. Other thing is is trimmers just ordinary trimmers okay see this is supposed to be a bikini trimmers i don't use it for that i just thought this is the most cutest cutest color i was like this is so nice but also i use this for my legs yes i um talking about for my legs i need to do them Ooh, for my legs now because they look a hot damn mess but um <laughs> i do use this mostly for my legs but um when i am lazy you can take this part off right here right here and they have the um the ridges to put on the certain number you want to get it to like ordinary man trimmers or whatever and then they have the um the numbers right here can you see them to the fifth level because you know it's supposed to be a bikini trimmer so um what i do i take this part off and then i just kind of go like this if i'm in a bad mood or i don't feel like fixing or fixing my face yeah, this was on Amazon. I don't know. I don't remember how much it costs. I will be looking it up for you. Yep, it even says bikini shaper and trimmer. This is from Panasonic ES246. I like these. And this, I think, required two. It required only two AAA batteries. So you put them in here. And um, stick them in there like that. And... Like that. I don't know if I told you the noise for this one, but this one. Okay. And that's how you do those. Okay. Epilating. Yay. I don't know if I ever showed you my epilator before. I think I showed you once, but I haven't used my epilator ever since I started going to electrolysis. Okay. So this epilator, if you don't know what it is, an epilator is a machine that has a whole bunch of tweezers in it and you um when you when you use it it will go like this and the tweezers will get 
will tweeze the hairs out while you are putting it on or rubbing it on the surface of your skin. So like if it was on right now, it will be grabbing the hairs like this. But I use this for my face. I did use this for my face because um, tweezing makes the hair grow slower. So when I first started, that's why I got it. This was this has 72 tweezers on it. And I think this was $69.99, something around. I think it was $60. I can't remember because I don't use it often anymore since I started going to electrolysis. Um, because the one thing about um, um, tweezing is that um, if you tweeze, you might get an ingrown hair. I mean, even if you use a razor, but mo most likely you'll, you'll get more ingrown hairs. You might get more ingrown hairs from using this. I don't have ingrown hairs. I didn't get any ingrown hairs from this. I think I get more ingrown hairs from shaving than I do with um with this thing. But that's, that's what she was saying or whatever. And I was like whatever so i just stopped using it but um i'll put this down in the description bar below and it lasts it still works to this day like i keep all my hair removal stuff just in case i don't feel like going back to electrolysis now i also have another epilator it comes in a cute little bag like this and um this is from who do people call them? um Emoji erase. I don't know, and this is really small, like it's super duper small. And the thing I like about this is that it comes with two heads. So it comes with the tweezers, and then it comes with the um another different form of trimmers. Like I don't even know what you call what type of trimmers you call these, but um it's the one with the full head on it. So um, it has two different settings, but with the foil head, it goes the one setting and that's it. It doesn't go at a different speed. And um, I like this one more, a lot more, just a little bit easier to use, especially when you gotta do your legs. Like, I'm probably the most, I'm telling you, for a person who has hurts, I'm the, um, the laziest. Late, I'm like so lazy. That's what I'm saying. People know I have hurts because I don't shave. I don't shave often. That's just me. I don't care. I don't shave often, but this is the one I use. And this one, I don't remember how much, how many. Uh, I think this has 32 tweezers on this one. See it? And it does the same exact thing. But um, I do like this full head better, so that's why this one's on there thingy now. And for both, um, for both, um, Epilators, you have to use a plug in cord to use them. You have to plug them in and you have to plug this part in and plug that in the um the outlet. And you plug it in the outlet or whatever for it to work. And also both of them come with um the little brush to clean the um the epilator or whatever. Okay, so let me tell you other forms of way to get rid of the hair. Waxing. That's what I used to do. That's how I first started off. I started waxing. Like, I never shaved my face. That's just like, no. Like, hail to the naw. No. Um, so, I used to wax my face. And that wasn't that bad either. It's just now that I am lazy, especially now that I'm older and I'm not giving like I don't care as much as I used to, especially when you're younger. Cause when you're younger, people always notice shit. Kids always notice things when you're younger and they always wanna make fun of you and things like that. When you are when you start the getting to high school and you get the senior year, well, I did. I didn't give a shit. Like you're with me or you're not with me. That's really how I felt about it. Um, So, so that's what I used to do. I used to get, and that's when I used to get my eyebrows waxed too, so. Yeah, so I did waxing just for my face and my mustache. My mustache is so serious back then. I don't know what happened to it now. You can see all my freckles and shit now. So, um, yeah. So I used to do waxing. Another really good good thing, another good one is threading. I actually really did enjoy threading. That shit hurt, but I did enjoy threading because threading, it was a lot... It's a lot more simpler. So if you don't know what threading is, um, people use this thread and they'll just remove the hairs. So you, they will like string, they will get the thread, like a long thread, 
and they'll ring it up like this and then they'll put it on your skin and they'll just go like this and what that thread is doing is basically tweezing the hairs from your skin oh my gosh it was, it's kind of like evolating but with less noise but actually the noise you do hear all you hear is this popping sound so you hear pop 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 and now the popping sound is is a thread um grasping the hairs and the hair is coming out so it kind of you know what a banjo sounds like and it's like that that string thing it actually it sounds like a rubber band you know how you move a rubber like you do a rubber band like this and you just start fiddling with it like that that's what it sounded like especially if you have thicker hair that's exactly what it sounded like and I do enjoy threading I did enjoy threading like I even got my eyebrows threaded and it just lasts such a long amount of time I wouldn't mind going back now but some threading places are very expensive like the no the one I know the most is the one in my mall and the one in my mall it costs like one of we had like the deal card it was like $50 for like three months like three months and it's a good deal but at the same time it's kind of like a bad deal because at the threading when you get your hair threaded or your face threaded that crap don't grow back quickly it takes a good couple of months so if you thread and it'll go back to and it'll go back officially to like three months later you only pay for like two sessions so i don't know if they still have i haven't walked in there for a long time but I remember when I first started, the lady had the same problem as me. And so did her daughter. So she knew, she knew the struggle. And she got like all my neck and like my sideburns and like all here and my mustache and my eyebrows. And she was like really good. On top of that, she was very fast. I seriously doubt she's still there now. But if I could see her again, I would say thank you. Cause that, um, that was a really good experience when I did do it oh actually another one i have is nair i don't know what happened to my nair i had nair but um nair nair is actually not that bad but it, re it requires time i mean they all require time but you actually had like to set a timer for it to kind of work and make sure you're doing the correct time so you won't like break out and rashes and hives and or rashes and because i found that my other friend has the same problem it's not as bad as mine but um like most people none of nobody i swear nobody has it as bad as me but um she does have it and she was asking about the electrolysis and she says she gets rid of hers by nair now i used to do nair as well but the smell is gross it's a nasty smell it really is a nasty um i don't like that smell at all like like it the smells gross but um but the good thing about nair is that it lasts for a long time and it's a very painful experience like even if it like if you use this or the trimmer and you accidentally cut yourself or something like that or if you don't like epilating or threading um it's a very painless experience you just kind of just rub it on and you just let it sit there and then you just wipe it off but um be careful with the timing because um she, my friend she kind of started breaking out a little bit because she left it on too long and at the same time, I understand because you don't want to leave it on too little and then you got to do it again. You know what I mean? So Nair is definitely one of them too. Um, that's all and that's all I have for hair removal. So I went through waxing, nairing, epilating, trimming, foil trimming, and a pencil trimmer. So I gave you quite a bit and I will put them all in the description bar below. Even the, uh, this pencil one for the walmart because every walmart is different you know because i remember getting it from walmart and i'll figure out the name and i promise you i did keep the um i know i kept that receipt but i lost it i lose most of my receipts and that's a bad bad deal but yeah but that is my um other ways to get rid of facial hair so if you like the video press like if you want some more press subscribe okay bye